Hey guys, I'm back with a haul video. Well, recent purchases video, I guess I could say. Um, I've had some of these items for a couple of weeks now, um, but I thought I'd go ahead and share what I've purchased and kind of what I'm intending on using it for. Uh, some things are already in use, but I um, figured I'd go ahead and show you because this is a little bit different from my normal crafting haul videos. So I think as some of you know, I've gone down the fountain pen rabbit hole and in doing that um, have been looking at some of the uh, leather goods and non-leather goods uh, and notebooks and all that other stuff that goes kind of with the whole idea of the fountain pen um, but also getting back into um, traveler's notebooks and notebooks in general um, just kind of playing around with all of that so I bought a number of things and this is not just one haul. This is from different places and different uh, packages that I've received. So I just thought I'd put it all together in one haul and kind of go through some of it. Um, and yeah, if you want to watch, you can. If you don't, you can just move on. Um, so I did purchase, um, this is what is called a pencil board. Uh, the word in Japanese, I believe is sitajiki. Um and this is from, purchased from a uh, Etsy shop. Um, and she, I was going to purchase a traveler's one, but um, I kind of wanted one in a different colorway. So this one has uh, a navy blue and uh, gold foil covering or color to it. On the back is the grid and ruler. And this is um, to help you if you um, have paper in your traveler's notebook that doesn't have lines on it you can see through the paper and then be able to write you know in a straight line so let me show you I have another one that I purchased along with that I put it in my notebook so that I could show it to you and now I misplaced the notebook so <laughs> this is another purchase I actually purchased this one from Japan this is a um, actual traveler's notebook um, I believe the Midori name sort of sorry about that guys there was a bug and I was trying to get it, it was mosquito actually um, so I purchased this um, traveler's notebook from a store in Japan and they shipped to the United States um, and this store is on Etsy and he has lots of um, the I guess more limited things but this is uh, the Kyoto version. It's got a rose gold um, foiling on the cover. It's actually a navy blue. It's not black, so if you're seeing it as black on camera, it's just a very dark navy blue. And this, as you know, Traveler's Notebooks is just the outer cover with an uh, elastic band uh, that runs down on the inside, and you can put your notebooks inside. So more on that later if you're interested. Now, this is another purchase that I made. This is called a Traveler's Wallet. And this is made in um, collaboration with the Superior Labor and Bomb Kuchen. Um, they're a store, well, the Superior Labor is a um, store in Japan. They make uh, leather goods. Um, and you can see this has leather on it, but it also has a recycled material. This is fabric that's been recycled and has a really beautiful, like, unique marbling effect. I can show you a different cover that I have in an A5 size, but this fits inside of the Traveler's Notebook and gives you the ability to have pockets. So you can see here, that's the Bomb Kuchen logo right here. It's upside down, but um, it's sewn here and you've got the, you've got a, the ability to put another notebook in here. Um, and so my uh, Rarities letter pad is um, banded together with a uh, a traveler's notebook insert that has the grid and here is the other pencil board that I have it's just stuck in here so you can see that it fully fits inside you cannot see it but it's uh, designed again to go behind the, the piece of paper so you can write um, easily and it also helps with the fountain pens in terms of the ink not going through the paper but I do have the uh, inserts that are fountain pen friendly so the other side of the um, notebook has the other side of the Bomb Kuchen travel wallet, which has a zipper. Now, they um, they have this gold 
or I'm sorry, brass pendant inside that are sewn in and you can read that. It says, we travel not to escape life, but for life, not to escape us. So it's in keeping with the whole traveler's idea um, and journeying and all that kind of stuff. So you can see the rivets here are actually um, imprinted with the uh, Baumkuchen logo um, as well as their name. But they're a store, store out of California in Los Angeles, I believe. And you can visit their shop, um, you know, during their hours. But the company that makes these is is their collaboration with the Superior Labor. And I have many of their goods now. It's actually my work bag um, I've trans trans transitioned over to using is from them as well. And I'll show you more on that later. Um, so that's the, the Traveler's Notebook that I have and purchased for this. Now, I have purchased other Traveler's Notebooks. This one was purchased used from um, a Facebook group. And I just put in this little charm here uh, that was made. This was made by Atelis. Um, she's back on YouTube again if you don't follow her. But she made this out of... Um, uh, female clay, I believe, and she hand painted this. So it's a little cute um, notebook journal that she gave to me years ago. And I, I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to lose it. But now I have a pl good place for it because the color of the band here is the color of the insert that I have on the inside from Superior Labor. And you can see this is a natural dyed leather. When it patinas, it becomes this color. So the person I purchased this from had this um, made by another leather company. And I believe, I want to say they're out of, it's, they're stamped on the inside. But I put a um, heart pin here and attached it to my char my um, leather tag that I got from the Superior Labor and one of the products I bought. Um, they include that a lot of times in their purchases. So this is a black um, traveler's notebook insert. Um, I've customized it a little bit and it's got black paper in it and you're probably wondering well how are you gonna write it in it with the black paper well I have a, a white gel pen for this one um, this is more of a creative journal um, so here is the other travelers um, wallet that I have um, you can see it's a different color than the first one that I showed you and I can show you the two without having the a5 size too but you can see the marbling effect here this is that recycled paper, um, not recycled paper, recycled fabric that they use to make this this um, travel wallet along with the leather. But the recycled fabric is a new process that they've um, developed to um, create their um, wallets from. And this is painted right here. But you can still see that pattern that's in the fabric going down underneath the paint. But this one has more of a dramatic look to it. And I can show you my other notebooks that I have purchased as well. But this one, again, has um, just the one traveler's insert. And they do, um, this one's a grid, but they do have, Banku can actually um, design their own inserts as well. Um, and I have purchased some of those that I can show you. Uh, let me show you that because I just got those in. So they have this journey is, is the destination. Um insert and it's a grid insert it has a uh, craft paper inside so I think I opened this one um, this craft paper is a dot grid paper and again it is um, it's a thinner sort of um, paper than say um, some of the thick notebooks and it makes therefore it makes your notebook a little bit lighter so I purchased this one and these are actually made by um, the Traveler's Company. So you can see the Baumkuchen, um Studio there and then made by Traveler's Company in Japan. So even though um, it's another collaboration between um, Traveler's Notebook Company and Baumkuchen, the um, Traveler's Wallet is a collaboration between the Superior Labor and um, uh Bon so there's, there's two collaborations that I'm showing you here. And then this one is a dot grid, or this one is a regular grid, and this is a Bon Kuchen, um designed insert as well, but again, Traveler's Factory makes these for them. And this one is a thicker notebook, but there's um, a lot of papers in it because the papers are thinner, and again, they're designed for your fountain pen use. Alright, so that's 
and I've got a lot of Traveler's Notebook inserts because I've been checking them out and trying to see which one I wanted to purchase. So um, I don't want to bore you with all of that, but that's some of the inserts I've purchased. Um, here is a pouch from the Superior Labor. It's a very big pouch. That's where all my inserts are being stored that are extras. Um, it's You can see it's a leather and a canvas, and the Superior Labor weaves their own canvas. It's very um, nicely, uh, I don't know, the nice, it's a nice quality. They have nice quality products, which is why I bought so many of them. But this again is that natural dyed leather that as it patinas, it gets deeper in color. So it gets more of a um, brown color or tan color, I guess you could say. So I have this large pouch and I have a medium pouch as well. You're probably wondering what's in here. This one is housing some um, notebooks um, that are in the passport size. And I bought a passport size traveler's notebook as well. And this one is the um, coffee, um, Starbucks reserve coffee one. So if you, I haven't decided whether I'm going to be using this because it is kind of small. Um, and the person, I bought the second hand from somebody here in the States and she had a lot of extras and she had, um, here's how it looks if you close it, obviously, but, um, she had the, the charm, the green band on it. Um, this is the caramel colored, um, traveler's notebook and you can see it stamped here. And then she had even the olive green um, insert and she had lots of um, other inserts included as well as this. Um, this is another pencil board, but, and, and th these are not made from paper. These are plastic. So they're not going to, um, well, you could bend them, but um, you can see it's got gold foil on it. This is for um, next year's um, traveler's notebook, but I use it as, again, a way for you to, to easily write in here. And she even had clips. So she, she sold me uh, a whole lot full of things at a great price. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to use this because it might be kind of small for my taste when you're writing a notebook. But that's what's in this bag as well as some of the different types of refills that uh, Traveler's Notebook sends. But this is a smaller pouch. This is the medium sized pouch. And I even have a mini one, but I won't pull it out right now. Okay. So other things that I got, these, um, these are travelers. Well, this is where it sort of splits like Midori, which used to make the travelers notebooks kind of, I guess they spun off the company, the companies maybe, or the divisions. So the Midori name went with, um, their MD notebooks, I guess. And this right here is an MD paper. So it's it's fountain pen friendly, but it's A5 size. And this one is a grid. And I bought a pack of three. Um, and so I took one out and put it in the notebooks that I have right here. So here's some more of the um, Bonkuken, uh the Superior Labor collaboration. And I actually have a, a new pen case. I bought a two pen case to hold some fountain pens to attach to the notebook. And, I, and it's attached with a clip. So that's the reason why it's hard for me to remove it. But again, as this ages, it becomes a different, you know, a deeper color like this honey color. And it even gets darker as it goes along. So you can see I put a, um, I've actually got a friction pen in here with a fountain pen. So this is a clicky, clickable fountain pen. Um, but I put it in here so that I could house my pens together. And this notebook goes with me to work. So... This again is made from that same um, recycled material and you could see the the marbling effect it has because what they do is they take the fabric and they compress it into a cube and then they slice the cube to get these pieces of material to sew together with the leather. So this one is an A5 notebook cover and it has pockets on the inside and I have a, um, this is a separate um, paper clip. Uh, it's actually a money clip from the Superior Labor and it's made from brass. And then this is the back of the pen clip that's uh, attached to the front. So you can see I had my, this is my notebook that I have 
it stuck in here that has a lot of various things. And then this is my, for my work, um, calendar. Um, this is actually an MD 2023 A5 notebook that has a calendar in it and I'm not opening it for a reason. Obviously it's for work. Um, but I can start using it now because I have, uh, inserted, I purchased some of, um, calendars from Stalogy and I'm looking for them. Here they are. So, um, these Stalogy calendars are the kind where it's on like a sticky note type adhesive where you can move it around. So you write in the, um, the actual numbers for the calendar. So because it is October, I took some of these, um, and filled out for October and November and I can start using the notebook now. And then it picks up, the notebook itself picks up with December. So you can see it's got um, a monthly calendar. It's got a little grid right here to write in, and then you can circle the month that you're in. And I've just stuck them in the pocket in the back of the notebook. Um, not that I have to keep them with me, but I purchased another um, size in, of that calendar. So I want to show you that. Um, this is that size. It's a smaller size. You can fit these in. I believe these will fit in the travelers as well. Let's see. Yeah. This will fit in a traveler's notebook. And again, it's made with a sticky back um, adhesive, just like a post-it note has. So you can move it around if you decide you need to put it on a different page. Um, so you, again, you just write in the dates um, in the calendar and you can use it, you know, right away. This is a smaller version of the same calendar that I just showed you. Um, I don't know how many are in here because I can't read Japanese. So I ordered this from Bomb Pukin, but I'm, I'm sure other supply stores that carry Japanese stationery probably have this. If you just look up Stalogy, you can find it. And there's the name of the, the brand. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I just purchased these and received those in the mail. But these are the two notebooks um, in A5 size that I have. Um, they're the same thing. It's just to two different colorways. Now, this is what they call blue quartz. And you can see the beautiful um, gradation of the coloring, the marbling that they got. And it's just, it's, it's unique. So every notebook is going to be different because it's cut from, you know, from a big block of recycled material. So this makes it pretty unique to every, each person. And then they've painted this little, um, piece right here. Now it feels kind of like canvas, but not, you can tell this is not canvas, but it has a, uh, a nice texture to it that I really do enjoy. Some people might not like that, but you can kind of see that grain in there too, if I hold it closely. And there are some parts that hit the light are shiny. You can see that. Um, so this is the blue quartz color and you may not get one that has this marbling and if you order it, but, um, it's just beautiful. So in here, I've got one of those three pack of notebooks. And then this is another Midori MD, um, book, but this is a thinner one. Um, I purposely purchased one that's, um, kind of a, a smaller size. It's not as thick. It doesn't have as many pages in it, but again, it's safe for the fountain pen use. So I have two of them. Why? Because this one goes with me to work out. Oh, and this is the aqua, aquamarine color, if you're interested. And then this is the blue quartz. So I have both of these in A5 size, and I also have them in the traveler's wallet size. This one will go with me to work in my book, my work bag. Um, so there's that. And I showed you these already. And this is the pouch for my traveler's notebook. I got a new pen. This is a Twisby Eco. I don't remember the name of the color now, but it just came out. And I'm pretty sure that the color uh, on the camera is not the color of the pen. Uh, it's changing that color, that blue color. Um, it's a little bit weird, but it, it's... Um, I don't know how to... Peacock blue is what I want to say it is. It's it's a different blue than what you're seeing on camera. And it's, it's because cameras interpret blues a lot differently than, say, other colors. So I got this pen in recently and... Um, yeah, I can't wait to use it. I got that in a fine, by the way. The inks that I shared with you um, some time ago, 
uh, I don't know when it was, but I think I shared a haul of stamps and I showed you a big box of inks that I hadn't swatched yet. So here's the ink swatches for those diamine inks that I bought in a lot. It was $30 for several different bottles of ink from somebody. So this is a uh, pink ice and it has a shimmer. This is all with a glass dip pen. Um, vintage copper which has a gold shimmer in it. I hope the light's picking that up. I, I don't know about this color. It's, it's copper, but it's not copper to me. I always think of copper as a different color, but this one is blue peppermint. I do like this color. I think it's more green than blue, honestly. And it has a shimmer of blue. This is the Garland. Um, now these are not, a, none of these are new ink colors, by the way, you can see there's a shimmer of blue in there, but the ink color is green and the sheen is red, a very deep green. It's very nice for Christmas. This one is just a strange color to me, but, um, it is a green color. Uh, I don't know if you can see that because there's so much shimmer in it. Uh, enchanted ocean. Now here's the blues. This is Jack Frost. That's a very nice blue. Um, and it has a, a blue shimmer as well, but there's a sheen of red as, as well. You can see it on that line. All the way around the edge of that line, there's a, um, a red sheen. Very similar to that one, Polar Glue. This has no shimmer in it. It just has the sheen. And I have one very, I have one or two actually very similar inks from Vinta that are like this one. So, um, this one is Ruby Blues. It, it has very definitely a red sheen and there's blue as the, un, the base of the ink. So it's really pretty, but again, I, I think I have too many similar inks that I probably won't fill a pen with it just yet. This one's pretty, Party Time. It is a shimmer, a shimmery ink as well. And I think it's a purple shimmer. That's what, it, or iridescent maybe. You can see that in the light and it's just a beautiful color ink. I would like that without the shimmer because sometimes I just don't want to have to worry about shimmer. Midnight hour. Um, I don't know how to describe this color blue with, uh, coppery sheen. I don't know. It's hard to describe there. You can see it now. Um, hard to describe this color midnight hour. Um, and then this one is Seasons Greetings. This is a green and it has a sheen of something. I cannot tell what color that is, but it is, it does have a sheen. It's an interesting color. Um, Winter Spice. I wrote the words incorrectly when I wrote it down or in, um, inverted them, but this is a, um, I thought it was brown, but it looks like it has a green sheen to it. It has a blue shimmer and I don't know if the color is green or brown. Winter Spice is what it's called. It's interesting. And then this one is Stargazer. Now Stargazer is, it seems like it's a black, but it has a shimmer of like a light green color. You can see it as the light hits it. And it has a sheen as well. It's, it's interesting. I want to say the color of the ink is blue, like a really dark blue, black, blue, black. I don't know. Here's some grays, which are a first in my, uh, inks. Um, this has a shimmer of like an iridescence. Um, but definitely the color of the ink is gray. This will be pretty. Um, and then there's another gray here and it is a different tone. It's, it might be hard to see that difference though. It's like the difference be, between a cool gray and a toner gray in a Copic, you know, um, they're very close. It may be hard to see for a lot of you all, but they're both gray colors. So that's why I'm holding them together. Cause the shimmer is really messing me up in terms of being able to see the ink very well, the base color of the ink. So snowstorm and moon dust. All right, so those are the inks that I swatched out. I swatched them out on the Kokuyo campus paper because that's what I have um, for my notebook. Um, here's more stuff that I got. 
These are all from Bomb Kuchen. Um, this is their, uh, it's a rubber stamp. And I thought this would be fun for Happy Mail. The ba um, This is supposed to be a cherry blossom, by the way. The little thing in the middle. And so this is a red rubber stamp. Yes, red rubber stamp um, on wood. And then there's this one, which I thought would be fun for anybody who gets something from me. Um, it's just a frame that you can start doodling in. This would be good for journaling, too. Uh, and then I got this washi tape. I have not bought washi tape in forever. Um, and I wanted this washi tape because I've been getting it on their packaging, actually, um, recently from my purchases. And it's rolled in wax paper. But what it is is um, these, I think these are like local artists to them. Um, but let's see if I can open it. It is, um, washi tape and each one is like a little postage stamp. And so you get like separated, it's separated so that you don't have to cut it apart or anything like that. Well, you do, but, um, this one says find your tribe and it's a whole bunch of origami cranes, I guess. Um, this one says, embrace the stillness, and you can see it's a tree and some lights. If I stay in camera, I guess you could see that. There is a whale here. Your soul is a deep ocean. And then expand your horizons. You got this little gate. Did I show you that, that properly? <laughs> and this one is travel within. And, oh, look at that. That's a little origami sailboat on a wave. And it says, ride your wave. And then we repeat. So I thought these would be fun to, to have. Okay. That's the washi tape. I did get some inks as well. Um, I got a, let's see, Urban Rose Cyclamen. So that's kind of a magenta color. Uh, Sailor, um peach and Robert Oster Barossa grape. So that's purple. So those are the three colors I got this time from the same place I bought the fountain pen. What else do I have to share with you? Oh, here's the pen case, um, without the pens in it. Um, I was trying to stretch those out so you could read the clip on the back. It says amazing things can happen when two elements come together. And again, this is a superior labor, um, and bong Kukin, um, collaboration done in this natural leather color and as this ages the color deepens to like a honey color so it's a really beautiful patina and that's all their whole aesthetic they like to see things age and well used um i also have another traveler's pouch or not travel pouch but this one is all canvas it's painted at the bottom in black um this is a large one and actually this is where i'm housing my um travels traveler's notebooks for right now until I can decide which one I want to use. I have some coming that have not arrived yet and we'll be um, deciding what I want to put in them. This is a charm for your traveler's notebook and it is from the Superior Labor. Again, it's a um, collaboration with Baumkuchen and I wrote this down because this is actually from their website. It's a Wabi Sabi inspired charm and what it means, their philosophy means imperfection, impermanence, and an incompleteness. Um, so I just thought I like that sentiment. So I'm going to put this on one of my notebooks, probably not that one because, um, the blue one that I showed because it has the rose gold, but maybe the caramel one or the other, um, another that I'm, I have coming in. So, um, waiting for that one to come. It's coming from Japan. So it's taking a while to get here. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, I still have yet to film the, the bag work bag thing. Um, I will do that hopefully when I get a chance. Um, we're still working on our kitchen. We're towards the end of the, the work and then we'll have, I mean the outside work, the inside work, meaning my husband's got to do some work and I have to unpack the kitchen as well. So we're going to start doing that pretty soon. I hope. And thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Talk to you later. Bye for now.